Hi, I'm Meg. Hi, I'm Chris. Hi, I'm Ryan. Welcome to Plant Fit Meg. Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, I make videos about healthy weight loss, simple plant-based recipes, and living a healthy lifestyle. I've lost 80 pounds and regained my health on a plant-based diet and with living a healthy lifestyle. So I like to share how I did that. Mm -hmm. And part of that is healthy food and healthy groceries. So uh, we're here to share another grocery haul today. Oh yeah, Yay. Yes, yeah. We are. <laughs> I'm excited. Good, yeah, it's been a while, so we thought it's about time to share another haul. Grocery prices are up a little bit, it's expensive, but you know, we do the best we can, right? Right. Right, okay. Brian, you wanna start us off? Yeah, pepper. Peppers. Green so, and red. Green and red this time. Oh, don't eat them. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're gonna make a tofu scramble this week mm -hmm. and Maybe a chili or something else, a pasta Ooh, sauce, yeah. maybe. Yeah. I haven't had a chili in a while. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we did the peppers. Yeah, it's nice that you just eat raw peppers too with a really yummy dip or something, mm -hmm. with some hummus or something like that. So that's another good option. Cucumber. <laughs> cucumber. Ryden loves to have cucumber in his lunches. Yeah. <laughs> he and usually eats most of the cucumber. Yeah. I tend to eat the cucumber in advance. What's that? Tofu. Tofu. So we bought some firm tofu. Like I mentioned, we're going to make a tofu scramble. And I'm working on another recipe that's kind of a plain sort of tofu that can be topped with different sauces to sort of jazz it up throughout the week just to make it more versatile so it's not like you're making something that has a really strong, yeah. powerful flavor. So stay tuned for an easy tofu recipe coming up soon. We got baby spinach. Baby spinach. Great to throw into anything and everything. We'll throw it into our scramble for sure. Or, uh, or um, burgers. Yeah, mm -hmm. have it on the side with some burgers. Sometimes pizza. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, that's true. And smoothies. Yes, of course. Throw it into your smoothies. What else do we put in smoothies, Raritan? Milk and berries. Mixed berries. berries. <laughs> Yummy mix of strawberries, blueberries, blackberries, and raspberries. All in one. All the berries. All the berries. <laughs> this thing's hard to hold. Yes, it's okay. Yes. I got it. So like Raiden was saying, great for smoothies, also great for a snack, great for making some jam. Yeah. We gotta make some we jam. Done that we should make this, <laughs> we should make that like a few days later or today. Mm, okay, you're gonna help me? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> okay. Milk cutting. Soy milk. Ba, ba, ba. Was it on sale this week? It was. So it far was? our sale items have been the tofu. And the soy milk. Nice. And we get the unsweetened fortified soy milk. Yeah. Super yummy. Great for smoothies. Rye likes to just drink it sometimes. We'll add it to our oatmeal and things mm -hmm. like that. Use it in recipes. And we sometimes use it for um, vegan cereals. <laughs> That's a more dad and me thing. But... Yeah. When you guys have cereal, yeah. you use some soy milk to top it off. Yeah. Apples. apples, yummy apples. We love apples for snacks. Mm -hmm. We each eat probably one a day. Oh yeah. Or a couple. Probably times. more than that. Yeah. <laughs> Super yummy. All right. <laughs> nice apple hat. Broccoli. Wee. <laughs> Wee. Yes, we like to get frozen broccoli. We go through minimum three bags a week sometimes more. It's good to go with pretty much any dinner or lunch food that we make. It's an excellent side. We put it in wraps sometimes. We'll do stir fries with it. Yeah, I love Just this eat soup. up straight broccoli. And I love the stir fry. You're a big fan of the stir fry. Broccoli and dip. Mm -hmm. Throw it into some pasta. And, and, Pastas. and, and also have like um, some pita hummus and then broccoli. Yeah. Yep. And I love the broccoli and hummus. Just mm -hmm. so you guys know. Mm. <laughs> so do Whee! I. All Yum. Right. Broccoli. And then cauliflower rice. Cauliflower rice. Uh, I'll admit it's a bit of a luxury item. It's a little bit expensive and it seems like the bags are getting smaller. So mm -hmm. that's something to be aware of and be mindful of, but I do love to throw it into oatmeal or throw it into pretty much any dish. 
Anything, yeah. Pretty much anything. Pasta, chili, anything. It says on the bag, use instead of rice. I don't actually recommend that though. Don't use it instead of rice. Just use it alongside your rice yeah. or alongside anything else that you're um, eating just to sort of bump up the cruciferous veggies. Yeah. Was it actually we mixed it in with... Yeah. <laughs> oh. We mixed it in with our grains frequently. Mm -hmm. So whether it's grains or quinoa, like a seed type dish that you're having, this is a great thing to mix in. In honesty, I don't really like the flavor, but when I have it mixed with other things, I don't even realize it's there and I get it. And that's good. Yeah. Great way to get it in. Sneak it in for mm -hmm. your kids or for people who aren't a huge fan of cauliflower. <laughs> <laughs> I like cauliflower, but not cauliflower rice. But you don't notice when I put cauliflower rice in things. Yes. And then I tell you afterwards, oh, by the way, there was cauliflower rice in that oatmeal. And then how, what do you say to me? What? What? <laughs> That's usually how it goes. Yep. So next up is not actually something you can eat, but something that might be inspiring or interesting or educational, all those things. And it's still found at the grocery stores. Yeah. <laughs> Da, 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 da. So it's the Forks Over Knives magazine. They call it a bookazine because it's quite thick. I don't know if you can tell. It's hearty. It's quite thick. There are a lot of recipes in it. And this summer issue, I'm actually featured in. So very cool. If you want to check it out, um, that'd be really fun. It's on page 13, lucky number 13, <laughs> if you want to check it out. Um, so yeah, but there's also other people's stories. There's uh, a lot of recipes and other good information about plant-based eating. So absolutely check that out if you're interested. They're a little on the pricier side, but again, a bookazine a lot of recipes to refer to and um, mm -hmm. yeah, it looks really delicious. Yeah, it's Chris just is just like flipping here and I'm like, Having mm. a mild peruse. <laughs> it is uh, really delicious looking and I've got to say, I've gone through about 30 pages at the back of the magazine that are all wonderful looking plant-based recipes. Yeah, and there are a ton of recipes, beautiful pictures, really lovely magazine. And you probably should get it and look at some of the recipes and maybe get and maybe make one of the recipes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let us know if you do check it out and if you try any of the recipes there. And uh, maybe we'll share if we, yeah. if we try a couple from there as well. Very okay. exciting news from Maggie, you guys, if yeah. you're regular watchers, to be featured in Forks Over Knives. It's a very, very big organization. It's very exciting. Yeah, very cool. Forks Over Knives was one of the first documentaries that I watched that really got the ball rolling with me deciding to go whole food plant-based and go vegan. So very, very cool to six years later be featured in the magazine. Mm -hmm. All right, back to food. Back to the foods. Back to food. Let's start with big heavy. Daddy will hold it. So we have a lot of staples. We we ran out of a lot of our staples. So we're gonna go through some of those now. Mm -hmm. This thing's heavy. Potatoes. Potatoes. So we always have potatoes on hand. This time around, we grabbed some white potatoes. So many different ways to prepare and enjoy potatoes. There's a bunch of recipes on the website and I'll um, link them below as well. If you wanna check them out, plantfitmeg.com. We have our hash brown recipe, mashed potatoes, mm -hmm. mashed potatoes with spinach, um, all sorts of different options. You can do baked fries, add them to chili, add them to curry, add them, <laughs> so, so yummy yeah. and filling. And if you are a budget conscious shopper, Potatoes are a very reasonable way to stay full feeling for a very long time. Rice! Rice, another great staple. Great for stir fry dishes, great for adding in, again, chilies, curries, mm -hmm. all sorts of different ways that you can enjoy it. You can spice it up, flavor it, use different sauces, and super yummy. Yeah, I love having it in wraps. If you're looking for something very hearty in your wraps more than just your regular greens and things which are excellent this is a nice way to fill it out yeah and you sometimes can put them in sandwiches you could you could yeah, absolutely you could. and it may taste good <laughs> you could give it a try yes, it is a good idea to try next up is sweet potatoes we absolutely love sweet potatoes they're so delicious love them as savory 
and savory dishes as well as sweet dessert-like mm -hmm. dishes. And we usually put them in some cake sometimes. Sometimes we do. That's true. We have an icing recipe. I was recently featured um, on Chef AJ's show and I made a chocolate zucchini cupcake and sweet potatoes are in the icing. Mm -hmm. Beans! Next up is beans. So we were running really low slash running out of beans. We still have some lentils in the cupboard, but our beans we just ran through. Mm -hmm. So I have chickpeas in my hands here. Yeah, and black beans. And pinto beans. Yeah, and so we love beans. Super hearty, super delicious. If you buy them dried, they're a bit more cost effective. Take a little bit more time to prepare, take a little bit more thought, but we just throw them in the instant pot and that makes it really easy to cook them up, cook up a big batch, have it on hand and ready to go for the week. And we usually like chickpeas and sometimes the cypher beans. Yeah, the pinto we use a little less frequently, but they're yeah. still very young. All, some of all of these beans are sometimes in um, refried beans. Yeah, we mix and match to make our refried beans. That's true. Da, da, da. Diced tomatoes. Yeah, so some more pantry staples. We ran out of our diced tomatoes, so we grabbed some more. Mm -hmm. We like to use it for pasta sauce and... Curries. Yeah. We're mentioning curries and chilies a lot, but I guess that's part of the plan for the upcoming week. Yeah. So there we go. We are going to make chili and mm. soups. Yeah. Nice. These yeah. ones in particular are very nice because they're no salt added as well. Oh. And something that I personally like to look for. Yeah, so if, that, if that's something you're concerned about, be sure to look for the salt-free version. Yep. Tomato paste. Tomato paste. Similar usages for yeah. the uh, diced tomatoes, also pizza sauce. Yeah, we barbecue we, sauce. Barbecue sauce. Yeah, I love. Yes, the, I love the barbecue. I'll leave let recipes linked below. Mm -hmm. Anything I, we mentioned in terms of recipes, I'll leave recipes linked below so you can check them out. Chili powder. Chili powder. We use a lot of chili powder. We go through it pretty quickly mm -hmm. with our refried bean recipe, with making chilies. Um, with just t adding it on top of potatoes or rice or things like that. So really, really yummy. We love it. We had to restock. It's a good one on potato chips. Really finely sliced potatoes in the oven. Sprinkle the chili powder on top notch. Very nice. Yeah, we probably should do that. I know. <laughs> All right, moving on. Quick girls. <laughs> Yep, so we grabbed some rolled oats. We ran out of oats, which is really, really unusual for us. We usually have one or even two backup bags ready to go. <laughs> and sometimes even three. Yeah, so it was really weird when we ran out. So we absolutely had to restock and happy to have them back in the house because it's a weird couple days. It is weird. Not having them around. It's, it's interesting when you get used to something and something's a staple and you just always have it on hand and then you don't have it. It's like, hmm. I gotta get a little creative now. What am I gonna make? What am I gonna do without this item that yeah. I love so like, much? Like it's really hard, but we were able to make pancakes. Yeah, but... we made it work. Yeah, we use it a lot for breakfast, uh, obviously, but um, we also make our own oat flour, um, which heats up a bunch of the oats themselves, and we use that for baking and pancakes and other goodies. And we also <clears throat> can use them for treats. Yep, that's, that's true. true. Yeah. Sometimes we make cookies with oats, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. and I remember I'm making apple cookies. Yes. Um, apples. That's true. That's true. You could make some more of those this week if you want. You yeah, should. We should make an. We should make frosting and that, <laughs> and we could just make it a happy face. Oh, okay. Big plans. <laughs> Riordan's recipes. <laughs> Big plans yeah. for the kitchen this week. Hot sauce. Frank's Red Hot. Love this one. Just ran out yesterday. Got it back today. Good to go. I love hot sauce. If you've been on the channel, you've probably seen me use it in quite a few videos. Yeah, in my What it. I Eat In A Day videos and yeah, stuff. Yeah, you use it almost every day. I use it quite often. And Maybe and not every and day, and but and quite even often. even every, this day, she had broccoli. That's true. That's one of my favorites. Broccoli with hot sauce and nooch. And Brussels sprouts. And Brussels mm -hmm. sprouts, yep. But we have to get Brussels sprouts at one point. But <laughs> we have some in the freezer. Yeah, really? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Salsa! 
salsa. We bought three of them because we double up our refried bean recipe and use a full jar, yeah. which is two cups of salsa. Uh, we love this salsa particularly. We've talked about it in other hauls, but <laughs> if this is your first experience watching one of our hauls, just have to uh, give this one a glowing review again. We're not sponsored or affiliated with them in any way, but we, we just wish. really enjoy the Herdez brand. Uh, it tastes really fresh and really delicious, real super simple ingredients, even though it's a, sh a shelf stable product. And and I have it in wraps mm -hmm. and sandwiches sometimes. And we use it in refried beans. Yeah. Yeah, on top of salads, all sorts Yummy. of uses. Yummy. Peanut butter. Gotta have peanut butter in the house. And we got the crunchy one. Yes, we got the crunchy one. We usually get the crunchy one, don't we? Sometimes smooth. Yeah, we, we mix just, it up. We always discuss it at the shop. Yeah. Which type of thing, yeah. It's really fun. I prefer crunchy. And I don't really care either way, <laughs> but they're both good. Oh, okay. What does Dad think? Depends on my mood. I'm very moody with my peanut butter. Okay. You guys let us know what no. your favorite is. Are you team crunchy, team smooth, or both? No preference. Like that dummy. I'd love no to know preference. your opinion. <laughs> Apparently, it's a big debate amongst many people. Smooth. Cocoa powder! Cocoa powder! And we use it in a lot of treats! Yeah, we use it if we're making some different treats. Also, uh, to put into smoothies or nice cream to give it a chocolatey flavor. Mm -hmm. Really yummy. Add it to your oats. Chocolate date syrup. Mm -hmm. Yeah, totally. Yum. Mm -hmm. We also use milk for that. Yeah. Pita! Grab some pita bread. Super yummy. Great for wraps. Great for pita pizza. Snacks, chop Snacks. them up into little triangles. Yeah, really yummy with hummus or another dip. Bread! Yes, the all essential staple of a household. Mm -hmm. So this is a new bread for us. In previous haul videos, if you've seen, we've talked about Silver Hills is a big one for us, or Ezekiel bread was another big one. This one recently Ryden and I discovered at our local grocery. It is made by a company called Oro Wheat, and it is organic, sustainably grown, plant-based, um, and as far as we can tell, school safe. It does say may contain sesame seeds, depending on your board, that might be a concern. Overall, we've been really happy with this bread, um, and actually, it's less expensive than the Silver Hills and Ezekiel options we've done in the past, so win-win. Yeah. One downside is if you are a whole food plant-based eater and you're concerned about oil, it does have a little bit of oil in it. So that's just something to be aware of if you're oil free. We do tend to be oil free, but sometimes with the cost of things going the way that they have been, we've made a few concessions with a few items. Um, just for the sake of saving a little bit of money. Um, and it's not something that we're eating, you know, every meal, every single day. So, multi-grain Cheerios. Multi-grain Cheerios. And we also have another cereal. Yeah, we also have another cereal here, uh, Apple Cinnamon Checks. And so both of these are plant-based. Double check the ingredients in your area though, because sometimes when we've shared Cheerios mm -hmm. in the past, I've had people tell me, wait, Cheerios aren't vegan. We're in Canada, so ingredients might be slightly different depending on your location. So always double check, um, but they are vegan. We, re we read the ingredients. Um, this one, I believe, does have a little bit of oil in it, it as does. well. And it has a bunch of sugar, probably. Yeah, so yeah. not the you know most health promoting option, but something that if you're just gonna maybe sprinkle a little bit on top of another cereal or a bowl of oats or something like that, I, just to jazz it up a little bit. I love it. It's also nice as a snack mix. So if you're having this mixed with some nuts, with some dried fruit, maybe with some other cereal, that's another uh, good way to eat it as well. Banana! Banana, something else that's pretty much been in every haul video, I think. I'd have to look back, but I'm fairly mm -hmm. confident that that's true. We always buy at least two or three or four bunches of bananas. We go through them pretty quickly. Great for snacks. Ryden likes to eat one first thing in the morning <laughs> when he wakes up in the morning. Right, bud? Right. Yeah. And they're great to add to oatmeal, smoothies, Freeze Cereal. them, use them in nice cream, all sorts of yummy mm -hmm. ways to enjoy your bananas. Our next couple items are absolutely <laughs> not whole food plant-based, 100% not. Not healthy, not necessarily recommended, 
definitely not recommended no. for health and things like that. But we just want to share the realness and occasionally we do buy some treats and things that don't fit into the whole food plant-based scenario. They are vegan, but they are not health foods and we don't specifically recommend that you buy them, but just for the sake of being open and clear and um, sharing what we're actually purchasing, we thought we'd share um, these couple of items. So some treats, if you're whole food plant-based and you find these kinds of things talk about uh, junky food sort of triggering, then feel free to X out of the video now. I, some, I know some of you guys are a little more sensitive um, to talking about foods that might be triggering or if you have um, like food addiction issues, um, you can click out of the video now. Um, but otherwise, stick around for these couple of items. Fun foods, recreational foods. Here we go. Food-like products. Food-like yeah. product. Twin Limbs. Yeah, so occasionally we'll buy some licorice. There's not much more to say about it. <laughs> licorice. It's licorice. I wish yeah. I could just... Yeah, so occasionally we'll have a little bit of a candy or treats around like that. Uh, we tend to make our own desserts and things more often than not, but on occasion, we'll grab these kinds of items. Yeah. And then you should hold that one up, babe, because that's just... Yeah. I want to hold it up. You want to hold it up? Yeah. Okay. This is more or less unusual for dad, but... Uh, <laughs> yes. Yeah, so this is a dad item for sure. Do you want to speak more about uh, Doritos? Yeah, so, <laughs> Sure, I will um, talk about the Doritos. I enjoy them. I like to eat them when I am relaxing and playing video games, to be really straight. But uh, yes, definitely not a health promoting food. I am sure that I'm eating lots of whole foods throughout the day to kind of offset my guilty pleasure of the Doritos. So I hope you really enjoyed this haul video and maybe found it helpful. Maybe it gave you a few ideas of some staple items to uh, purchase or to look into and just give you a bit of insight into what our grocery hauls look like and what we're eating. Mm -hmm what some of Riordan's favorites are. If you have little people in your household, these are great options for young plant-based eaters. Like bananas? Yeah, mm -hmm. yummy things for the whole family to enjoy and lots of different ways to mix and match things and make different meals, different recipes. And just as a blanket statement, this was very much a staples haul with the exception of those extra treats at the end. These are items that we go through every single day in our household and it can be done on a very reasonable budget. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you're having an amazing day and we'll talk to you soon. Bye. Bye.